I'm AJ Switek here with Mankato Moondogs field manager Danny Nealand. Coach, it was a team effort, no errors, and really good pitching. What did you like from both Peter Michael and Nathan Coley, who both shoved in their own right? I don't think there was a whole lot to dislike, honestly. I mean, they were both phenomenal tonight, which was exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, you know, after the unfortunate circumstances last night of uh, losing a starter in the first inning and having to go through some um, to get through the game of 10 innings with two guys is huge. So um, hats off to both those guys. Peter was phenomenal from the get-go. Um, worked around a few little rough innings, but for the most part it was smooth sailing. And um, Cully to do what he did, um, you know, rehabbing back from his surgery that he had, he's starting to get back to form, which is really cool to see. And it goes without saying, obviously a great team effort, but one more question about an individual. Both RBI tonight came from the bat of Carter Frabel and his return to the lineup. What was helping him to see the ball so well after an extended time away from the team and the lineup? Kid's a competitor. Um, he's one of the best competitors we've had um, this summer. So um, uh, we love having him around. Um, we missed having him that week, but uh, um, we love that he's back and with us. Um, and he plays a really good third base. That was evident, I think, in the first inning. Right away, he had a really nice play. Um, and just to jump back in and get us a homer and then uh, find a way to grit that one on at the end there was awesome. So, yeah, we love having that kid around, and uh, he's just a, he's one of our best competitors. And in terms of the team level, it was a really good recovery from a night ago, not a single error defensively. What do you think helped the specific nine in the group that you sent out there to play really good defense this evening? Um, just good focus, um, good communication. They stayed loose throughout, even in a tight ball game. And, you know, one of the things, too, defensively, when you got a guy that's rolling like that, you take it upon yourself to, um, you know, play well for him, to keep things rolling. So um, I thought our guys did a really good job playing behind both Peter and Nathan um, with a good pitching performance going. So um, they're all very talented defenders, and they showed it tonight, um, and they all put in a ton of work, so I'm super proud of them. And finally, moving forward, this Moondogs team only has one more home game before the All-Star break. It's tomorrow against the exact same team. So how do you carry this momentum forward in search of a big sweep? Yeah, start the day over tomorrow again. Um, everything starts over. So, uh, you know, try to get back at it. And uh, we'll have Julian Hatchman going. It'll be his first start with us. Um, so uh, he's going to open it. We'll kind of ride from there and, and see where it takes us. But, uh, yeah, excited to get back at the ballpark. Certainly. Thank you for your time, and congrats on the big walk-off win, Coach. Thank you.